Hi, my name is Jared Johnson. I'm a technical marketing engineer for CData Software. In this video, we'll walk through installing and configuring the CData ODBC driver for Redis. The driver is able to connect to Redis and Redis Enterprise instances. To begin, read through the EULA and click I agree. On this page, set the destination folder to the installation location. The default location is pre-populated. Click Next. On this step, select which components to install. It is important to note that the bitness of the driver does not refer to the bitness of your machine, but instead to the bitness of the applications you will use with the driver. For most users, it makes sense to install both versions of the driver. Also included are help files, which provide details about the features and usage of the driver. Demo applications that provide simple examples of using the driver are included as well. The last component is the SQL Broker, which is a lightweight application that allows you to connect to your Redis data remotely using TDS or MySQL protocols. Once you've chosen components, click Next. Here you'll select the Start Menu folder for the driver shortcuts. Click Next. Click Install. Here we see all of the components we selected earlier being installed. Once the installation completes, we get the option to configure an ODBC data source for the driver which can be used to connect to Redis data from any number of other applications. Click Finish to open the data source configuration wizard. Here we see the connection properties used to connect to our Redis instance. Start by entering the IP address or fully qualified domain name for the Redis server. Next, enter the port for the Redis instance. If your Redis instance is password protected, you can set the password property. Otherwise, set auth scheme to none. Now let's take a minute to explore the other connection properties. We'll start with the Define Tables property, which allows us to group keys based on a key pattern to be treated as a table. For example, I can say that table underscore one will be all of the keys that begin with prefix colon. Table underscore two will be all the keys that begin with prefix colon prefix two colon. Table pattern defies the key pattern that will be used to define tables by discovery. For example, if I set table pattern to prefix colon star, the driver will only expose those keys that begin with prefix colon. If we use the default value, then the driver exposes all keys that use a colon as a separator between hierarchies. There are other properties available that will allow you to configure connecting through a proxy or firewall as well as configuring any logging and secure connectivity. To ensure that we've configured the driver properly, Click the Test Connection button. Click OK to save our connection settings and close the wizard. With the DSN configured, you are now ready to connect to your Redis data from any number of third-party BI reporting, ETL, and custom applications. If you have any questions, please reach out to our support team at support at cdata.com. Thanks. Have a great day.